Everybody, welcome into Wager Talk TV. We've got the Yankees and Rangers finishing up a series in Arlington to talk about. And uh, certainly the New York Yankees really feeling miserable this morning after letting one slip away and now falling behind the Baltimore Orioles for the AL East. I'm Tony Mejia with SportsMemo.com. And uh, we're going to give you a free play on this game. And uh, it, again, we'll have to be uh, the New York Yankees, because they're most invested at this point in the season. But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, rid ourselves of having to de depend on their bullpen. Uh, so the uh, full game line for these games is actually a pick them minus 105, minus 110, depending on your shop. Total is set at eight and a half. Nathan Yavaldi pitches for Texas and Marcus Stroman goes for the Yankees. Uh, the over is actually on a nice run for both of these teams. Four and one for Texas. 5-0 and oh, last five for the Yanks. Yanks come in 80 and 59. Texas 66 and 73. And a few weeks back, the defending World Series champions essentially said, we're looking forward to next season. And this season has gotten away from us. Uh, Jacob DeBrom, DeGrom, though, uh, is slated to return sooner than later. We'll see what happens with him. Certainly, Max Scherzer's season didn't go according to plan. And uh, Texas has had some unfortunate luck with its rotation. And uh, New York has had uh, a relatively healthy run throughout most of its starting pitching, although Garrett Cole uh, suffered a calf cramp the other night. He should be fine. Uh, they've had uh, some instability due to inconsistency. Marcus Stroman has had some issues. Um, you know, certainly uh, a couple of other guys that they were relying on to have big years, like uh, Carlos Radon or Nestor Cortez, have, uh, have struggled with inconsistency hoping to find things in september and that takes us back to stroman who actually comes off his third long longest outing of the season last time out uh his longest since may 31st pitched five uh seven innings of uh great baseball against the cardinals uh, in, a, in a victory he struck out five walked none comes in with a 10 and 6 record and a 1.39 whip which is respectable but he's been really good on the road uh, five and one with a 2.56 road ERA, so better uh, in opposing ballparks than he has been in the Bronx, despite the fact that it was a dream of the New Yorkers to pitch and pinstripes. And uh, for the Rangers, Yavaldi has been better at home than he has been on the road. Six and three with a 3.16 ERA at Globe Life Park. He's 10 and seven on the season with a 3.60 ERA and a pretty solid 1.06 whip. He gave up uh, just one hit last time out striking out 10 but it was against the white Sox, so you got to take that with a grain of salt uh new york blew a 4-1 lead yesterday uh they uh struggled in the eighth inning an error from dj lemayhew opened uh, the floodgates a little bit jake cousins came in and was ineffective they used three relievers in the eighth tim hill got out of the jam after a sacrifice fly despite uh you know, two guys in scoring position when he did record the 24th out of the game. And then Clay Holmes, a closer, he had pitched on Monday uh, to uh, get himself some work after some, uh, it was almost a week, I think, of being inactive and getting into games. Uh, and so he should have been ready to go. He got Travis Jankowski immediately, but then gave up a single to Carson Kelly, walks to Josh Smith and Marcus Simeon, and the Grand Slam to Wyatt Langford and is a disappointing loss. And New York has had a number of those this season. So we'll take the bullpens out of the equation because right now uh, they've been worked uh, this week. The, the New York Yankee bullpen has, and we don't know what to trust. So we're going to back the Yankees on the money line in the first five innings, minus 105, minus 110, depending on what you can get. It's in line with the full game line. And uh, this is just to capitalize on the – solid history that new york's hitters have had against nathan yavaldi and uh, to to further illustrate how poorly uh new york fared in not being able to capitalize on tuesday night's 4-1 lead in the eighth uh they had juan soto aaron judge and giancarlo stanton who's been hot actually go one for 11 and drive in no runs and they had a three-run lead it was a day off for corey seager you got to get that win if you're in new york and you didn't and now they fall behind the baltimore Orioles by a half a run although uh, by half a game although it looks like that uh, al east will be decided in the bronx on uh september 24th through the 26th in a three-game set against the birds 
but New York has to pick up as many wins as possible prior to that. I think uh, they'll be on their way to doing that. We'll see if the bullpen holds it or not after five innings. So we'll ride the New York Yankees in the first five. Uh, and for a player prop, I like uh, Juan Soto. Uh, it's a little dicey because you, you have to be wary of his walks because he's such a selective hitter. But he uh, is two for three lifetime against Ivaldi. Hits, runs, and RBIs prop uh, pays out. Uh, one and it's it's minus 125 for him to back over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. I think he'll do that. Uh, other hitters that have had success against Divaldi, Aaron Judge, 14 for 36 with two home runs. Anthony Rizzo, who, who's back, 9 for 25 with a pair of homers. Stanton, we can hate on him, 12 for 38 with four home runs if you want to play a home run prop or a total bases or hits, runs, and RBIs prop on Stanton to the affirmative. And LeMahieu, who was uh, – it was a Yankees one after his ill-timed error. 16 for 50 lifetime against Yavaldi. Soto two for three, and Soto is our choice to go over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs uh, against uh, against Marcus Stroman. Uh, only a couple of Rangers have had any remote success. Seager, who should be back in the mix, is three for 10, and Simeon at the top of the order, seven for 17. No Texas Ranger has homered off Strosho. So that's why another reason we like uh, the Yankees in the first five. Smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play. NFL season begins on Thursday. Can't wait for that. Another weekend of college football and the first full weekend of college football and NFL is upon us. It's also international break uh, in, in soccer throughout the globe. So we've got a lot of friendlies and uh, World Cup qualifiers to uh, handicap and try to make some money on this weekend, not to mention the WNBA and MLB slates that are in full swing. So end of the regular season for both of those leagues. Be tuned in to uh, Wager Talk TV so you never miss a free pick video. You can follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. Check me out at uh, Sports Memo at sm.buzz slash TDM. We've got a lot of great deals going on. In fact, on Friday at Sports Memo, we'll have half off daily play packages and all access passes. So go ahead and be sure that you are on board on Friday at Sports Memo. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.